guys and welcome back to part two of the 100k per hour video so most of you have probably seen my video that I uploaded yesterday if you haven't I would definitely go and check it out to understand like what we're farming for and what to do with the ship that we're farming for right so basically a reconnect of viewer of mine on twitch he uh, he remembered me about this farm right here and uh, as we were doing the other farm, we decided to go and try this farm as well to see if it was as good as the previous one. And turns out, it might even be better. So the thing about this farm is you're going to kill these Nexus guys uh, right here on the map. And Bash here is landing. And this zone is not really that big. So if you bring a couple of friends, we were five. But you can bring a couple of friends and just spread out. And these mobs, if you have like this position right down here, which I had... The mobs will spawn so fast that you're probably not even going to be able to kill them all. Like, you will never have a, a slight second of, uh, like, no mobs around you. Like, it's absolutely insane, the spawn rate on these guys. So, you will kill more mobs, meaning a way, way higher chance at obtaining uh, any world drop, epic plants and patterns and transmog. And you will also get way more uh, of the, the shard, like the Apexis shard. You get, like, at least twice as many. Another cool feature with these guys are that instead of dropping Primal Fire, you get Primal Mana, which is usually worse than Primal Fire, but it's still decent. You still have that steady gold in the back. But they also drop these, the uh, Ether and Prison Key, which is needed to get like reputation with the faction, the Consortium. So a lot of people need these because the faction gives you like tabers, it needs, gives you like your patterns to crafting and so on. So they're definitely, uh, they're definitely going to sell. So this is more of a steady choice. And you have a higher chance at getting depleted items and just like world drops in general. So yes, I would definitely say that this is a better option. Unless Primal Fires are really, really high on your realm, you might want to go with the other one. Me personally, I made more gold with the uh, the last one, yesterday's video, because I was lucky and I got the world drop plan. But I'm going to pull up the picture from this farm. If you guys don't mind, the guy being first placed with Jinsu Sword, you can see that the rest of us have a much higher average gold per hour on this farm. And once again, you can easily double the value from number two to number six because the depleted item has a lower value than the actual item once you make the item complete. But it was really, really good. And as you can see in the backs, the, the keys, and uh, we've got uh, how many now? 320 motes of mana, so 32 primals. And just the depleted items in general, like, extremely, extremely good. I have a few hundred thousand gold in, like, a lot of, almost, yeah, like this one, 60,000 gold, 18,000, 97,000, 60,000, 65,000 gold, 61,000 gold, and so on. I'm not claiming that these items will sell fast, don't get me wrong. There's some of them, like the dagger, 0.03 sell rate, but the rest of them, staff as well with a good sell rate, but the rest of them is not really that good, so... This is kind of one of those farms where if you're going to go and do it right now, you better be one of the first people on your server to do it. Because as soon as there's one other guy doing it on your realm, you're going to be undercutting each other, and then another guy's going to join in, and so on. And the item's going to be way harder to sell, and the value's going to go way down. So the farm will probably be ruined, so there's going to be a lot of people in the comment section saying that I ruined the farm. But as always... When, we, when you have my viewer base, it's kind of hard not to ruin a farm when I make a video about it. But you got to go back. Like, just wait a few months, a few weeks even, and people would have forgotten about the farm. They're going to dump their items, sell them for jack cheap, like, literally nothing just to get rid of them. And that's when you go back and you start farming it again because nobody else is doing it because they forgot about it. And that's where you're going to make the real good gold. I'm personally not even going to take advantage of it and sell these items before I upload this video or these videos. Uh, I don't really mind because I know that I will just hold on to the items and they will sell eventually. But uh, yeah, this was the second farm of the day. So uh, basically, Bashir is landing in Blades Edge Mountain Outland. And get yourself a group. If you guys have a hard time getting a group, you can always join my Discord. Link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave that thumbs up. And I will see you all in the next video. Until then, bye bye.